All right, people. I'm okay. back again, back again. You know, I left off on tongues. You know, I was talking about how you gotta please speak clearly when it comes to serving the Lord. You know, it doesn't matter how many languages you know. It doesn't matter. No matter how much Hebrew you know, it doesn't matter. None of that matters to the Lord. Now that's good, but if you can't explain it down so people can understand that people have come to the Lord, you might well even stop right now because you're not benefiting to anyone. You know, you're more beating down people than lifting people up. You know, I've been there, people. I was one of the worst Christians you have ever seen. I was mean, bitter, angry, but God had to balance me out. He had to let me realize, hey, Houston, sometimes you're gonna be too hard. And right now you're being too hard. You need to soften up a little bit. So he balanced me out. And I try to tell everybody else that. You know, just like with the preachers that preach nothing but love. God is love. We know that. But I'm going to tell you something. People are so caught up in blessings now. But they don't want lessons. They don't want consequences or nothing. They just want, Lord, please give me that million dollars today. Get me out of debt with my bills. Well, how about the Lord want to teach you how to manage your funds first? What if he's trying to do that? He ain't finna keep giving you money. When you see you ain't finna do nothing with it. You want to blame God. Blame yourself. You understand? It's time. Think about this, people. When they left Exodus, when they left Egypt, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. You think God destroyed his enemies, destroyed the children of Israel enemies for them not to see what he can do? You think he just did that for fun? Like, yeah, this ain't going to never happen to you. You can disobey me. And get away with it. But they can't. Because you minds. Are you crazy? What makes you think. They said the Lord is a just God. That you're going to get away with something. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins. What makes you think. You can't become an enemy of the cross. Just because you can't be part of the cross. You are wild. And confused. If you think that's how it works. You know favor is obtained. One thing about favor, you obtain favor from the Lord. You obtain grace from the Lord. You obtain mercy from the Lord. And guess what you do when you get favor? What you trying to do? Trying to stay in the favor of the Lord. You kind of trying to stay in the mercy of the Lord. You trying to stay in the grace of the Lord. Do you understand? It don't just stop once you give your life to Jesus. Like, hey, I'm good. Jesus, look. I came to you. You said you would die for my sin. And I'm, I just came to you now. I just know, I know your name. But I ain't going to do nothing that you asked for. I ain't going to do none of that. I just want your mercy though. Let me tell you something people. God's mercy. Is everlasting. That's the thing. It's everlasting to those that. Stay on the right path. Saul. Saul. Y'all forget that story. People love to talk about Saul getting anointed. But do you talk about Saul getting disannulled? Do you talk about that version of Saul? Do you talk about that Saul? That the Lord said, I'm not going to talk to you no more. The Saul that said, why long are you going to grieve? Told Samuel, how long are you going to grieve after Saul seeing I have rejected him? Some of y'all don't get rejected. Because y'all ain't obedient. I can be rejected. No matter how much I preach this gospel right now, if I turn back living to the world and start doing everything that the world wants me to do, guess what? All that mercy is going to turn into wrath. You see, people, when you tell a story, you tell the whole story. Just like when you go to court. Tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. That's what they tell you, right? So guess what? When it comes to the Bible, you think that's any different? They have people swear on the Bible, even though I don't believe that means anything, because God said don't swear at all. I know people right now who put their hand on the Bible and be lying through their teeth till it come out their ass. I'm just being real with you, people. The lies just come out. You got to stay to the truth that is the scripture. I don't care if people get pissed off at you for it. You better stay at it. 
You understand? Because you don't want to turn on the, get from the long end of the stick to the short end. Judas. What did Jesus say about him? Jesus is merciful. He forgives sins. After so long of dealing with Judas and preaching to him and having him go out and do the worst he had him to do, come to a point where he's like, Judas, you know what? Go ahead and do it now, man. I've been reaching out to you for years now. You still ain't figured it out yet. I'm tired, man. What are you going to do? Do it now. He said it would be better for the man that betrayed the Son of God that he had not been born. You know, a lot of y'all going to hear the same words. You know why he said it's better you've not been born? That you have never sinned against him. Oh, you thought because because you bet upset some people. No, because you just sinned against him. We can sin against people. We can forgive him for that. But we keep sinning against God and against him. Eventually, he's going to turn it back on you. Saul sought him earnestly. Saul sought him so much he had to go to a necromancer. That's what some of y'all going to do. Y'all going to be like, I can't hear from God no more. Let me go to this, this soothsayer. Y'all better learn from the Bible and not make the same mistakes they made in the past and learn from your own mistakes. Forgive us our trespasses. You understand? That don't mean keep trespassing. Like let's say you got a dog up here. You got a, uh, a somebody didn't see the sign. They didn't know you had a, three pit bulls, three white lot wilders, and three German shepherds in your yard. Because they didn't see the signs. They said, no trespass. Beware of the dog. It says it's all on their fences, but the person snuck across their gate at a sign. It was dark, and they didn't see the trespass sign. So they jumped the gate, and they get their butt toe up, but they survived. You understand? They survived. So now they know there's dogs in this yard, and they probably go to jail because they try to steal some stuff out the yard. Do they could keep jumping the fence? Oh, next time I'm going to come with a gun and get prepared. And you ain't learning nothing. So you still want to do the same thing. You're just getting better equipped to sin. And that's what a lot of y'all are doing. Getting better equipped to die in your sin. Because you're leaning on the, the fact that Jesus died for your sins as a way to keep doing what you want to do. I can't do what I want to do. Imagine if, if you got kids, majority of y'all got kids. If your kids keep trespassing against you, you're going to be merciful for only so long. You know we got God's characteristics in us. How long do you expect to just be like, okay, son, I forgive you this time. Okay, I forgive you this time. Okay, how many times do you think that's going to work for somebody to be like, you know what, you, you manipulate me now. You're trying to play me. That's what the Lord looking at a lot of us. Y'all, you're trying to play me. you trying to... I'm trying to play the most high. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, I can't let that slide. He ain't going to let it slide. He ain't. As, as the devil. Oh, y'all. Y'all been plotting against me for years. For centuries. No telling how long the devil, Satan, Lucifer, was building his army in heaven to, to plan to overthrow God. And Jesus was there. Because I saw him fall like lightning. And he knew. Now, was Jesus always all-knowing? I don't know. But God was just watching him, just. Oh, that boy can sing. Oh, man, he played on music, isn't he? I know his heart's though. Hope he don't go through with this. He say, Lucifer, don't do it, man. Don't do it, Lucifer. Probably had other angels like Michael. Hey, man, why? you know, sometimes you are uh, getting out of line, man. You need to. Hey, man, I, I see you. you I see you building an arm over here now. That's the thing is, I ain't got a snitch on you. I see it. If I see it, I know the Lord sees it. Michael and Raphael and all them, Gabriel up there. Man, so going on, boy. You know. And I think Lucifer thought he wasn't going to be punished because God was merciful. He probably thought he was like, you know, he's just going to give me a slap on the wrist this time. And then before long, get out. But the thing is, he let him rebel. He didn't stop him from rebelling. He let him. So you think he's not going to, he's going to let you too. But I'm telling you, I bet you he gave Lucifer sign after sign after sign. Just like he give us. 
Are you gonna keep doing it thinking I'm gonna just let it slide? You see, y'all don't understand what mercy means. You understand? People, God show you mercy for you can change for your evil way. For I can change for my evil way. Not for me to continue on in my evil ways. You understand? I'm trying to tell y'all something today. Straight off the dome. That's how you're going to talk to most people. You think you're going to pull out the scripture every time you talk? I don't think so. You're going to be right random. But tell people both sides of the story, please. You know what? You know why I hate about hate is inspiration of preachers who use the Bible to inspire people. I'm going to tell you what I hate about it. They don't use the Bible to put the fear of the Lord in them. Like I said, blessings, but no lesson. I don't want no, I just know my cup from the overflow. I just know the thoughts that he has towards me. I just know that God has thoughts of peace for my life. I know all that, but what about the rest? You leaving out some issues. It's probably 99.9% .9 of the people in the audience that need to hear rebuke. And all you saying is, you finna get that job. You finna overflow. Two hours of talking about how God finna bless you. Two hours. Don't he don't he saw no. Have you read the scriptures? Jesus ain't even talking like that. He balanced it out. Come on now. That's the problem. You're doing good with the love and compassion part. Great. Somebody should pat you on the back. But somebody need to pat you in the mouth. I'm not being real. Gloves off today. Nobody want to hear that. You know why God don't want women preachers? Because they all about compassion. Too much so. They don't believe in consequences. The majority of women don't. You got a wife? <laughs> They don't believe in it. But they talk about the most, com the loving portions of God and have no compassion. Don't believe in, I ain't saying all, cause there's some, some that actually admit when they're wrong. And you got some men like that too. But women are more prone and susceptible to the wiles of the devil, according to what? Scripture. He said Eve was first deceived than the man. You see, the devil wants to see the woman first. I was watching a movie yesterday. It was a great movie too. It was called Forgiven. Great movie. A guy uh, made a mistake and shot his girlfriend so he running for the law. And he let himself up in the church. And I ain't gonna tell you all the movie. Long story short, the daughter ended up leading the man to God. And I was feeling the Holy Ghost. I was feeling the spirit and everything. I'm like, it's a great movie. Then towards the end, they show him walking in the church and her preaching. I'm like, who wrote this script? Who wrote this script? But as soon as a man say something about it, you see, you ain't you missing the whole point of the story. You missing the whole point of the story. No lies of God. You missing the whole point of the story. You can't tell a good story about the Bible and turn your life over to the Lord and end it with a lie. What? What? You, you can't do that. Even though I love the fact that I felt the Holy Spirit in it, but I hate that fact when they lie to you. People think all Christian movies are just perfect. <laughs> all Christian people ain't perfect. Ain't now one of them either. You rightly divide the word of truth. And once the truth get inside you, you can't help. You can't unsee what God has shown you. You can't. If you do unsee, that means you just blatantly going against God. I was like, 
Because that's the agenda. The world want to put woman and man equal. God never made us equal. Read the scripture. He never made man and woman equal. By no means. The scriptures say this, and I guarantee you, the majority of women ain't finna quote this scripture. Because all women think they're smarter than men. I'm gonna tell you what Solomon said. He said, in putting one together, one and one together to get the answer, I find one man among a thousand. But for a woman, I find none. I ain't see it. But I believe it. Because if he said it, I believe it. They'll be up there singing that song. They'll be like, oh, I don't believe that, though. <laughs> I don't believe that part. You see, that was for the times back then, you know. That's how. I ain't saying women can't be smart. I'm not saying that. I'm saying he made y'all a certain way for a certain reason. Not to teach. Okay, then. Got that out the way. Let's see what backlash I get on there. Show me where it's said in the scripture. Read it for yourself. I ain't finna sit here and quote. 12, 12 and all that all day. You got a Bible. Google it. <laughs> That's what y'all love to do. Google everything, though. I tell you this because I love you. Because if you keep telling people it's okay, guess what's going to happen when it's not okay? What's going to happen if you keep telling somebody it's okay, but it's not okay? I'm asking you a question. What's going to happen? They're going to start believing the fact. And they ain't going to change from their ways. Because you keep telling them it's okay. You keep telling the thief it's okay. Every time they get out of jail, it's okay. God loves you. God loves you so much. God loves you so much. He died for your sins. They still again. It's okay. God loves you so much. He died for your sins. Then they still again. God loves you so much. They died for their sins. I'm like, shoot, I ain't worried, man. Because God loves me. Because he died for my sin. I'm going to go steal tomorrow. Because every time I go to my mama's house, after I done stole something, she say, God loves me. I done died for my sin. So guess what? I ain't got to stop stealing. Because God died for my sin. Do you understand what I'm saying? People, don't shoot the messenger. So what do you think gonna happen to your whole congregation if you ain't telling them the wages of sin is death? I listen to the songs. One of my favorite songs is by Toby Mac. Speed life, speed life. What's speaking life? I'm asking you a question now. What's speaking life? Condoning? Y'all need to stop beating people up, condoning sin and speaking life. You might be killing more people than you're saving. I think y'all understand. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And the word that's in the Bible is inspired by God. To me, it seems like people want to find different interpretations to the Bible when it doesn't line up with what they want. Joel Osteen said it like this. We talk enough about the wrath of God. I want to show you about the look. It's like a taste out your mouth, Joel Osteen. You taking away from the word. You don't care. As long as you keep that big house. And some of y'all, as long as you keep the little house, it don't matter. Y'all ain't caring about saving no soul. Do you understand, people? I don't do this because I want to mislead people or for the money, or for the profit. I do it because God put in my heart to do it. And I'm going to change the way I do it when people have been changing the way the Lord has been telling us to do it for years. So that's why when people wake up and they start preaching the truth and leading people to the truth, they got a problem with it. They be ready to hang Geno Jennings. Do I agree with everything Geno Jennings say? No, because he's a man. 
Should you agree with everything I say? No, because I'm a man too. But you need to agree with the scripture says. How about that? That kills it in the bud. I mean, learn and study for yourself to show yourself approved, man. The Bible said it never said a woman couldn't read for herself. Couldn't study for herself. It never said that. Do you understand? It never said no, a woman can't learn the Bible. Never once. I'm trying to see the first conversion story I saw when Mary Magdalene gave her life over to Jesus and she started her preaching. I'm just... <laughs> oh, okay. All right, enough of that. Let me pause and I will continue. I got a few more words and I'm going to end it.